Stop by to interact with the community and I every Friday night at 8 o'clock for live stream Fridays. Welcome trolls. <laughs>
gaseous and we could see many colors both coming from different structures and objects and the colors are also coming from the different gases. We could see different clouds and different types of colors on the surface. Underneath all of that is where all of the activity is. With my D3400 camera, this is the last, one of the last objects I found, along with um, the Chrysium Basin. Beautiful, beautiful um, camera, the D3400. I could go as far as saying it's a cheap beginner camera. This telescope is really showing us a lot of uh, what it can do. It has a lot of quality and the camera that's behind this is gonna show us a lot more. There's that crater again, the veil. How many times have I showed you covers over top of these supposed craters. Uh, so now let's look at this event and finding um, a whole different way. Instead of this being a UFO, could it be some type of projectile? This is just theoretically speaking, because I enjoy theoretically speaking. <laughs> I'm just going to piss so many people off. Seriously, guys. Okay, this thing is taking off of the surface. Let's look in detail. So imagine the astronauts there on, on the surface. He's waiting. He sees a slight in the sky, and then all of a sudden, what just? Um, yeah, Houston, I'm heading back to Earth. Definitely, right? Look at this light. What's going to happen? But look what's happening to the left of the, of the light at the same time in the darkness. More dust, smokes, and hazes or launches are being done, and that's why I'm finding more than one, and I found two at the same time. And when I say simultaneously, I'm talking uh, three to three and a half seconds apart, these two objects came spiraling to the surface. So they did leave the surface. They seemed to have looked like they were leaving the surface or either coming from the dark side, but we're seeing it straight up here. And look at the back. Let's look at the atmosphere or whatever, natural or not. People get mad when I say atmosphere. It's been concluded that there's an atmosphere there. It's been hundreds of years, guys, okay? But let's just look at what we're looking at, the colors. So I'm going to the left here, seeing all this motion and movement, and we see the second object coming in from uh, the corner there. So I was able to get two of them. So watch here. We'll see both of them in a row. Don't worry. There's that bump coming out of the surface. What is it? I'll replay it a couple of times. Look at it. And then at one point, I will continue the video. So there, we saw that bump come up. Now we see that light coming towards the surface and literally coming towards me. Um, far away, yes, but you can see it's coming towards the camera, even though it's way out there on the east side of the moon. So imagine that. So now I was seeing this sideways, right? Because the east side of the moon is um, turned this to the right. Get it? So it's near impossible to see these. Uh, darn UFOs, but they're there and they're all over the place. This is Mare Serenitatis. Love it. Love the surface there. Lots of lights, lots of anomalies, lots of hidden treasures. Watch this, guys. Let me know what you think of this. We're going to zoom up. This was with the D3400, the Nikon. You're going to see a bunch of objects. At one point, I, I don't know if I presented the video as these being connectors or not, but take a look at them. Could be docks, could be anything. I'm throwing theories out there and I, I won't stop doing that. It could be anything, that's where we're gonna find it. Could be buildings, it could be uh, malls. Hey, listen, nothing is too crazy. It's, if there's people up there, there's gonna be some stuff like that, that's for sure. But see them side by side, one, two, three, four or five objects. How's it going everyone? So we're looking at UFOs on the surface. Um, they're hiding underneath that cloud cover. Whether it's natural or not, they are hiding under the cloud cover. So UFOs can arrive to the moon without anybody seeing them at all whatsoever. And uh, they can go unnoticed underneath what I call that veil, right? Um, as for the lines I'm seeing on the surface, uh, it could be anything, right? It could be uh, power lines. It could be uh, me as a Canadian. It could be maple syrup running to maple trees. Fire. Fire.